The Secret Service is now involved after cars were vandalized on Long Island. Several neighbors in Suffolk County woke up to racist slurs and threats against President-elect Barack Obama spray-painted on their cars. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has more now from the town of Mastic. Halleck Nash struggled to remove the racist graffiti from his vintage cars, some of the slurs targeting President-elect Barack Obama. We just had to unite together instead of putting hatred stuff on people's cars, it's not going to change anything. He's still going to be the president. I think it's because Obama was elected president, yeah. but I, I think that they're mad like, about it, honestly. In this mastic neighborhood, residents called diverse and harmonious. Police say more than 40 vehicles were damaged overnight with sexually graphic references and racial slurs. It was definitely a lot of the N-word, and then as you went further down this way, kill Obama in one car, and Obama and life, and you know, I mean, I hate using the word, but... The Rodriguez's snapped photos and shared them with police after shielding their children's eyes as they walked to school from messages of hate and divisiveness directed at the president-elect. That doesn't bring our nation together at all. We have to, uh, we have to pray for our president. Late today, Suffolk Police announced the department's hate crimes unit is investigating, joined by the U.S. Secret Service due to the nature of the threats. It's something that, uh, you know, we're, we don't tolerate in Suffolk County. Uh, we take it very seriously, and we're asking for the public's help. Today's incident occurred about 10 miles from Patchogue, where the Hispanic man was fatally stabbed last weekend following a confrontation with seven teenagers. That investigation also continues. From police headquarters in Yapank, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.